What do you make of this amazing modernist set? I think it's all of a piece with the uh, the, the idea of, uh, of modern industry that um, uh, that uh, the, the uh, I mean like the Hoover Building here um, using the Art Deco style uh, to go into uh, this factory which was producing the modern, the latest thing uh, in, in, in gramophones um, and that uh, Louis' house is, is also in the same style. Uh, there may also be the fact that, uh, the, the, that you had a, a particular production designer who, uh, who, who liked that and, uh, uh, and sold the idea no, I think he he, uh, he he must have had to consult uh, Perinal uh, as to whether he could light uh, the set with uh, with so much reflecting mirror surface, um, which must have required great ingenuity uh, to use uh, as they do. Uh, but yes, it does give the film a feel of a modern, up-to-date. Uh, factory in which the methods of Henry Ford uh, ha have been built in from the beginning uh, and, and uh, it also gives the film uh, an overall style uh, that uh, I think uh, gives a cohesion to uh, and, and also of course shows up the a relatively s small number of uh, locations uh, such as the greengrocer's shop which um, is close to where Emile is, is living in presumably destitution uh, after his release from prison. But I think the, uh, the what I take to be studio sets uh, were all uh, intended to be uh, up to date and uh, in, in the, the the latest fashion in vogue, which was Art Deco.